Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello, everyone. I am your teacher for this question. Now, let's read through the question together. So, in the following exercises, we need to simplify the following expression. Now, as you can see, in the expression, we have three fractions. So, the first thing you need to know is how to multiply fractions. So, multiplication of fractions. Let's say if you have um, an expression that looks like this. So, 2 over 3 times 3 over 4. Now, in a simple way you can do this is to multiply the numerator and the denominator separately. So, for the numerator, we're going to multiply 2 by 3 and it's equal to 6. Now, for the denominator, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And then, you need to reduce the result by taking out the GCF, the greatest common factor. In this case, what is the GCF between 6 and 12? As you know, it is 6. So, let's divide both top and bottom by 6. And this will give us 1, over 2. And that is going to be the final result. But notice that sometimes it can be much more difficult when it comes to multiplying fractions with complex numbers. So a smarter way to do it is to simplify the fractions before you multiply them. So simplify before, let's say, multiplication. All right, now that you have enough information about how to solve this question, if you like, please pause the video and take a minute, try this question by yourself, and come back if you have an answer. All right, welcome back. Now, let's do this question together. So, first of all, we're going to copy the question. So, 13 divided by 18 times 25 over 7 times 18 over 13. In this question, as you can see, it can be very time consuming if we multiply all of these three fractions together. So what we want to do is to identify if there's any terms we can simplify. 13 will cancel with the 13 in the denominator and 18 will cancel with the 18 in the numerator. We're only going to have 25 over 7 as our final result. And that is the final answer for this question. Now, in order to see if you understand this topic, you can try the following exercise. So let's say if you have an equation that is 6 over 7 times 2 over 3 times, um, let's say, 14 over 6. Now, how would you multiply these three fractions? So, so we're going to copy the question first. So as you can see, the first thing to simplify is definitely 6. And besides that, we also have 7 and 14. As you know, 7 times 2 is 14. So we can simplify this by taking out the 7s. So 14 will become 2, whereas 7 will become 1. Now let's continue with this fraction. So it's going to be 1 over 1 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 1. And now let's uh, multiply the numerator first. 1 times 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Now on the bottom, 1 times 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And that is the final answer for this practice. Now looking back to the process of solving these two questions, is there any important takeaways for us to memorize? So when you're trying to multiply fractions, a simple way to do it is to multiply the numerator and the denominator separately. And after that, you need to reduce the result by taking out the GCF, which is the greatest common factor. But notice that sometimes it can be much more difficult when it comes to multiplying fractions that contains large numbers. So what you want to do is to simplify those fractions 
before you actually multiply them. For example, in this question, we simply cancelled 13 over 18 with 18 over 13. And after that, we basically got our answers within seconds. Now we're done with this question. Thank you for watching.